Good morning! Welcome to Ordinary Days, where life with God is anything but ordinary. I'm Denise Larson Cooper. I was trying to remember a day when I didn't spend any money. At first I thought it was yesterday, but then I remembered that I had spent $2 on Amazon Prime to buy an episode of Castle. Thursday, my money went to Woodman's Grocery Store. Wednesday, I went to Chipotle for lunch. Tuesday, I had paid bills. Monday, I went to lunch and I bought gas. So, before this becomes really monotonous, let me say that the last day I didn't spend any money was on Christmas Day, and that was because everything was closed. The sad thing is that money flies out of my wallet and most of the time I can't remember what I purchased. Quite frankly, most of it goes to my kids or the household, but I still can't itemize my spending. And I suspect that many of you are in the same boat. We are consumers, and that means our money is consumed. God, however, has a very different economic system from mine. He is a consuming God. The God of heaven willingly spent the life of his own son to purchase the souls of men through his son's blood shed on the cross. In other words, he saves us, sends the spirit to consume our sinful nature, and then graciously fills us with the nature of his divine son. Ephesians 1.14 says, the spirit is God's guarantee that he has purchased us to be his own people. Thank God that he was willing to go on a spending spree and purchase us with the blood of his perfect son. Let's pray. Generous God, thank you for purchasing our salvation with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.